Howdy from Texas. Dixie and Eric back again with a very special guest. Today we have... Hi, Roxanna Redfoot. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Hey guys. <laughs> you rock. Look, you have your own name on there. <laughs> Y'all do that. We did a shoot in Fort Worth with Lonesome Longhorn. And starting off, man, the backlight at this farm, it was just amazing. We had the green grass, a little bit of brown, and uh, Roxanne just killed it. Yeah, you always nice. kill it, though. I'm a sucker for this solar flare action happening right here. It's amazing. This was actually probably my most favorite shoot to date so far. Just the Longhorns uh-huh. are such cool Western creatures and bringing it to life. And I remember you messaged me. How, this is how the whole shoot started was, Roxanne, you can actually tell them. I, uh, somehow I'd seen, I'd seen another woman uh, post standing on top of one of these cows. And I went to the page, the lady that owns the cows, Heather, at Cowgirls and Longhorns is their Instagram. And I was just going through the fields like, oh, I want to meet these cows. And um, yeah, just kind of kept picturing it under the Fort Worth Stockyard sign and hit Dixie up and was like, oh my gosh, you want to make this happen? And yes. she contacted everyone and rounded up the crew and Eric and everybody. And uh, yeah, we made it out here. <laughs> I love it. I love it when things come together. Me and, too. <laughs> I actually called Heather the owner of the Longhorn on Friday night and she answered and we just, I told her what we wanted to do and she was so in. She was so game. She was amazing to work with. She was very kind to let us in her home and let us just come hang out and and work with these guys. And look at this beautiful ranch. Yes. Such an awesome place to shoot. That backlit is pretty. So Eric, talk about the light because with animals, you have to be really careful with lighting. Right. We we had a strobe on backup, but we weren't going to start with that. We're just going to try to use this Lowe's board. It's literally an insulation board I got at Home Depot. And we use these over other reflectors. Correct, because one, it's um, got the right amount of silver. It's not too bright. And two, it's rigid. It's not going to flex in the wind. I love using this thing. And yeah. I painted the backside um, with white spray paint. So I have a white and silver option. Yeah. But I'll use this kind of far away just to test with the animal, make sure that it's not going to freak out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, once I set the position, um, I'll give it away to Nicole and I'll go around and look for other stuff I need to do or sec- set up a second set. Yeah, so in what so, cases do you use the silver versus the white? I'll use the silver if I just need more light. Mm-hmm. But the thing is when I use the silver, I have to back up. Mm-hmm. Um, I want I want to be able to capture or fill her whole body. Right. So I need to back up, obviously. I don't want to have a second shadow that's going to be too strong. Yeah. So I'll use the silver, but I'll back it up quite a bit. I'll call it far and wide. Mm-hmm. That's what I say when I <laughs> walk back away from it. But it'll still be enough light where you can actually see the difference in yeah. the in the face. Absolutely. Yeah, and the cow was okay with it, so I, that was probably the most important thing for me. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, these cows are really used to being photographed. Yes. yes. So that's very, very helpful. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. They were, uh, one of its names was Flash, and the other's name was Teddy. So they kind of <laughs> <laughs> lived up to their name. They were professionals. They were. And see, you just, they don't even, they're not even holding on to it in this particular shot. No, yeah. Oh just, he's just chilling. You guys bonded. Out, it. So when you're working with animals and stuff like that, like how do you approach that? I know that they can, animals can feel fear. So you obviously go in there super confident. So maybe talk I, a little bit. Well, about I don't know. Like, yeah, I've never worked with uh, longhorns. I've never spent any time around them despite living in Texas my whole life. Yeah. So um, when I first met this cow, actually, Actually, Teddy, uh, he did not like me. <laughs> he scoffed at me. He went and um, actually <laughs> took a pee and um, just did not like my vibe. I went back like 10 minutes later as y'all were setting up and just like went and tried to like have a moment with him and, yeah. and see how he felt. Then just kind of like took a second to bond with him. I think that helped by the time we got out there. Um, and awesome. uh, he was he was great the whole shoot. He was he was very kind to help us out with this. Yes. Because <laughs> he didn't have to part, you know, he didn't yeah. have to participate. Exactly. The sun went down so fast. The sun was so going fast. down so fast. I had to check it every like 10 minutes. Yes. And that's why we ended up using strobes. Yep. Um, just the, 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 I tried it, but it, I think don't think it looked as well as just filling it a little bit closer with the, with the silver. Yeah. The strobe gave it kind of a hard shadow, so I, More we lit. used it, but it wasn't the best option. Yeah. After looking at the fill. Right. Or the bounce board anyway. I love this shot. This was the whole concept of this whole lingerie hanging it on the long on horn thing. Horn. I think it was so cool. <laughs> we stay, we always, Eric and I will always have brainstorming sessions and we will talk for an hour on the phone just throwing out random ideas and stuff. So we came up with this 
Actually, you came up with this awesome idea to hang the lingerie. Um, it's like a cool kind good of call. Because it's funny shot. when you when you call with any concept, I'm always put lingerie as the second part of it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's car. It could be a barbecue. It doesn't matter. It's going. To, I'm going to have a lingerie aspect to it. So Laura's going to kind of take it that way. I love that. It makes it edgy. Right? <laughs> yeah. So then, then we end up having the high fashion and the sort of edgy lingerie yes. type of stuff. So I like to do things in layers, you know? Like yes. You start out with minimal makeup and then add some more throughout the shoot. And you start out with more clothes and then take some off throughout the shoot. It's like... <laughs> It just works, you know. It does. Well, and it gets hotter throughout the day. Yeah. Anyways, so. Right. You get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. that yeah. This dog is so funny. Rooster. Kept trying to steal my tennis ball. He did. The whole time. I'm, he finally got it. He was yeah. running around with it He's at like, one point. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Hey, buddy. Dude, oh. and boss, that, is that crocheted lingerie that you brought? Yes. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's, amaz that's perfect for the shot. Oh, man. It's amazing. I'm so oh. glad you oh. finally <laughs> used it. <laughs> there, you do got it. <laughs> So fun. And the light was pretty much gone yeah. here. But it's amazing the cameras these days, you can actually still capture some amazing stuff even when the light, the sun has gone down. So right. I'm thinking I'm at ah. like a thousand ISO on these. That might be my favorite right there. Yes. It's like you guys are talking without talking. Yeah, I love yeah. this. It's so awesome. <laughs> so freaking cool. It's like that's been your pet for your whole life. Yes. <laughs> it's so cool. What's cool is the owner, these have been her pets for yeah. her whole life. <laughs> Like since I she, I think she was I, like 18 years old. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. That's so awesome. It was such an interesting it shows. story. I wonder what her thoughts on the shoot, or post shoot. Are y'all gonna interview her, Heather? I would love to eventually. Yeah, we should. Nice. I think we should. We should, because she has a really cool story. Yeah. Yes. A really cool story. So this is very early in the morning. We wanted to shoot that epic shot underneath the stockyard sign. This <laughs> was really challenging for me because I didn't, I did not think there were gonna be so many cars around yeah and right. so they're and in driving right shot. literally past us and didn't care about the cows yes. or anything they're like just totally unfazed like this is fort worth this is normal here right We're just, gonna <laughs> just like this just happened so it was really tough because i really wanted that super wide shot but all these new modern cars just kind of was <laughs> right. like oh man so yeah. i ended up having to crop them a little bit more than i would have but Maybe they next time we'll have we'll have the budget to uh, remove everything. Yes, from the right, and then that put an old pickup great. truck. That would be, you know, <laughs> oh, that would be to, so yeah. cool, old pickup truck. So here come the Longhorns. Oh man, they're beautiful. Oh, they're so beautiful. <laughs> they were great, and they're huge. Yes. Like they're huge. They yeah. are massive. Do they're you... really intimidating. Even being comfortable with them, they were intimidating. Yes. You know? <laughs> what was so fun is we got a great um, wardrobe stylist, Jeanette Chivas, and then one Yvonne Cohn. Yes. Oh, my oh, both my favorite. Mm -hmm. We work with them all the time, and uh, they were such a huge part of the second day. It's definitely more high fashion, mm -hmm. and um, keeping the makeup really beautiful. I think and we just soft. had fun with it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why I love shooting personal shoots because you don't have a client on set, mm -hmm. so you don't have yeah. to. Come, like constantly please the client. You can literally creating. just vibe. Yes. <laughs> Full creativity. The like, whole crew can give feedback, and it's like you're just playing. Yeah, literally. I mean you're working, but you're you know you're playing. Exactly. Yeah. It should be fun. And it's like <laughs> it's the best, and so you get to really express your creativity, mm -hmm. and um, it just makes for such a fun day. You can be right. authentic this way versus having to reach an objective for a client. Right? Yeah, exactly. Because exactly. being creative, you know what you'll find out what works and find out what doesn't. Sure. And then if mm -hmm. whenever you find out what does work, you can expand on that. And then you can use that for your, when you do go back exactly. and work with clients, you're like, oh, yeah. I learned this thing. Like, yeah. Exactly. This well, is how this, true. yeah, you, you find your flow by, yeah. by doing these playful projects. You mind so talking true. about how you hold that camera? Because you hold it in a different position than most people. And I find out that actually most people, the most photographers have shoulder issues after about 10 years. Yes. Because they hold the camera like a traditional way but you hold it where you can lock your elbow into your chest and it gives you relief huh. i do it now too and it's, it helps me a lot that's awesome yeah i have a weird way of holding my camera i hold it upside down kind of Jimi hendrix style <laughs> and um i'm you know it's it's interesting because i call the other way like the normal way to hold cameras like monkey style because your arm is up in the air <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so i like to like um have the camera so that I can shoot verticals and have my elbow kind of into my body so it's very stable. And then I usually, you know, I, I usually two-hand the camera because it's very heavy. Right. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. That's how I get the sharpest images. I'm a, I'm a bit of a weirdo because most, cam most, you know, photographers hold their cameras a totally different way. But well, it totally works. Upside down. Whatever works for you. The way that works for Shoot me. Jimmy style. <laughs> right? Jimmy style. Like Jimmy Hinge style, you know? <laughs> 
It's funny because as, as they got hotter, it's probably close to 100 degrees right there. Maybe yeah. even a little bit more. It was, it was so like hot. the less yeah. clothes we got on the Roxanne. That when I took by the time I took that bodysuit <laughs> off, like it was drenched. I was like, uh, Yvonne, oh, yeah. like, do you really? I'll wash this for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually my bodysuit. Oh, or yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just remember being in the car like, oh, <laughs> yes. I finally had to cut a peephole for Nicole so she could see what she was filling. That is so key. Because on backlight, you, you really can't see much because in backlight, you're literally looking at the sun. Exactly. You can yeah, barely yeah. see the subject. So it helps a little bit with the little hole because you can kind of block the sun, yeah. put your head back a little bit, and actually see what your position is to see what you're aiming at. I think that's genius. That's some quality engineering so, right there. It so really is, actually. It's my $11 fix right there for $11 instead of using uh, fill cards, we just actually use that thing. Insulation board is the best. Yeah. We go through so much of yeah. that stuff. It, this was direct sunlight, huh? Oh, this was back like was noon? Was, oh, okay. It was, yeah, it was pretty back. It was like almost noon. Yeah. Like 11 or oh, so. Right, that's right. It was all, yeah. Yeah, when the light's super harsh, I always just try to put the sun to the back. Yep. And then yeah. if you've got, you know, things in the background like trees and stuff, the sun kind of just reflects off of it and it's kind of a nice look. But if it's just sort of a blank background, you'll just get pure white in the background. Right. So it was nice to have those trees back there. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> this cow was so patient with us. In he this was, and the cactus. I was so glad. Yeah, I was worried about him around all the cacti, but he seemed to know like what was up. So Yes. And here I'm shooting the Nikon D850, but I kind of was switching back and forth between the Z7 and the D850. Usually when we're on set and we're shooting video and stills, we use the mirrorless Z7 for video, and then I'll use the 850 for stills. But really, God, I love both cameras. It's just honestly hard for me to choose <laughs> which one to shoot with. So I just switch back and forth a yeah. lot. And you get kind of different angles and stuff. But I think here I'm using like the 105 millimeter lens. Yeah, you love that thing. And it looks so lens. good. Huh. Yes, it has this like flattening effect mm -hmm. or compression effect, which looks super cool. You know, Roxanne, you are so smooth when you model. It's yes. not posy posy. You don't jump to every things. frame. <laughs> and now I'm curious because now that some of the new cameras, like our mirrorless, our mirrorless ones, like the Z7, you can't really hear the shutter that far away. Yeah. And so I'll, for us, it's an advantage. Yeah. How do you react to it when you really can't hear the clip? Well, a lot more people are using those now because they do take such quality pictures and they're a little cheaper, right? Um, which is great. But yeah, just you got to communicate as the photographer, like, hey, there's no shutter sound or there's no beep or whatever. Because like sometimes I don't know. Like, oh, we're shooting? Oh, you, nobody said that. You right. know, let's right. go. Gotcha. Or whatever. I thought you were just still testing light or something. Not you, but like it's happened on set a lot of times. So, yeah. Yeah, just if you're shooting with the mirrorless, just like maybe let your model know so that they, they know when we're going. Right. right. Like okay. say action. They know when to turn on. Otherwise, <laughs> right. sometimes I'll just be moving and like, oh, they'll be like, not, we're not on the same page. So, yeah, it's all, right. it's all about communication when you're working photographer, model, animal, whatever, you know. Just, yeah. And we've worked for 10 years together so we, we already kind of communicate even without speaking probably so we do we're, we have a, a groove that we get in and I love that <laughs> it's so much fun because I feel like you always I love working with you because everything do. just flows <laughs> yeah and you're such an incredible model because you really take on the role of whatever kind of vibe that we're shooting Thanks. you almost kind of embody like an actress Thanks. Yeah, it's yeah. A, yeah, it's definitely an escape for me. Like, I think that's, yeah. that's kind of my personality is to throw myself into something that's not me, but is also right. bring my personality to. I don't know. It's just fun. It's a fun escape to, to dress up and, and yeah. be a character for a minute. I love that. And then you were saying also when you're working with animals, how when you approach it, you don't want to wear like perfume and stuff like that. Yeah, right? no deodorant, no perfume. Um, you know, they're, they're very sensitive to fragrances and they want to smell you. They mm -hmm. want to know who you are. So yeah, that, that's definitely a big, a big thing. Yeah. I think. And then when <laughs> you're working with photographers, like what are some tips that you could give photographers on how to direct models? I know when, when models are posed, it seems like it kind of stifles the creativity. Like you like to just flow, right? Yeah. And I know like new models, that's not always a thing they can get right into. They're not there yet. Cause I wasn't there yet 10 years ago, but mm -hmm. if you can just kind of not think so hard and not be so posy and have a photographer that is giving you some direction, but also you can give too much direction and be talking so much at me that like I can't get into a flow because I'm too listening to like, not you, yeah. but other, you know, I've had it happen on set where like, th there's like a line, you know, like yeah. you want to direct a little, but give the model the opportunity to breathe and just kind of move and flow. And as the model, like really don't overthink it. Just kind of move. I don't like to be too static. That's you know? the best. Or, or overthink. <laughs> exactly. What a fun shoot. Yeah. One of yes. my favorites for sure. Me too. <laughs> so glad we did it. Dream Thank team. you. Woohoo.
Thanks for coming on. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Well, that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for joining us. And Huge thanks to Rox and for thank coming you guys. in thank and you. chatting about this shoot. This was such <laughs> yes. an amazing adventure. You killed it. Yeah. We love shooting. Y'all killed it. Shooting. Y'all, we all, this this teamwork. So much make fun. The teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> cool. Yes. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.